Hi guys, it's Sam again with MF Murr. I originally was not going to do uh, this particular topic today. Um, I was working on another topic, but I got the very uh, intense, intuitive feeling that people needed to hear this topic, and I was getting the intuitive feeling that people are feeling at this particular moment uh, or stage in their life of feeling hopeless or trying to find some sort of hope. Um, so hope is basically trying to find something that is an anchor to um, diminish or to stop a particular pain or suffering. Um, hope is for people that um, uh, they uh, typically people look uh, for hope outside of themselves so they are consistently disappointed because they are putting too much expectation onto other things. So um, a feeling, uh, a sense of hopelessness means that you do not trust yourself or you do not give yourself enough credit. Um, so this video was not at all prepared but I felt the need to share it um, authentically because I feel like it would be a little bit more genuine with people. Um, so um, people that experience hopelessness are not in following their internal guidance system. Um, I talk about that a lot because your internal guidance system will uh, guide you to whatever you, you want based on how you feel about yourself. Your internal guidance system is a mini city. It is a um, city that is very important and oftentimes is neglected. I do have a few videos on uh, your internal guidance system and how to follow it on my channel. If you would like me to, I can leave um, a uh, the description in the description box below. But hopeless. So if you would like to follow your hope, you have to follow your soul or your purpose. Um, oftentimes people don't feel, feel hopeless because they are following the crowd. They are not following their heart. They are not following their uh, innate purpose. So if you would like to find your hope and your anger, you have to follow your heart. This will often entail leaving behind a lot of people, places, and things because it, will, it is no longer serving you anymore. So one, follow your heart. Number two, um, you're going to, when you leave behind a lot of people, you are going to, when a few people feel a sense of hopelessness, they typically have, are in a wandering state. Uh, this is a stage that everyone goes through when they are trying to find their purpose. So the wandering state is basically like a feeling of uh, floating and not really knowing where to, as going to a specific destination. So when it comes to following your heart, you're going to leave the crowd. Also, people that feel a sense of hopelessness, they feel that they have given too much to someone, something um, outside of themselves, and they uh, consistently feel drained or um, lifeless inside. So in order to find your hope or find your soul um, or find your... Uh, relief. You will have to ha make better choices based on how to live your life and who you're going to give your power and your, your energy to. No one can ever take your power away, but if you are a person that uh, gives too much in order to receive, you're going to feel very hopeless. Um, people that um, give themselves away due to money or what everyone else wants, such as society or their spouse or their friends, they're going to feel a sense of hopelessness. Um, people that are in a state of despair um, have a state of hopelessness. They feel that they're, they have failed themselves and other people have failed them. However, it is very important to come to the realization that you have all the power and you have all of the knowledge that you need to um, get what you want and get what you desire. Nothing ever in this life is permanent. Um, it, there are times when people 
try to tell you what to do based on their expectations, but people that feel hopelessness get, uh, give too much expectations of other people. Um, if you would like to find your hope and your anger, you have to be willing to follow your internal guidance system. Your internal guidance system will never fail you. It will never um, disown you. So um, as long as you are following your heart and less of the crowd and not putting too much expectations on other people um, and not selling yourself short, you will find your hope. And there is nothing in this life that is permanent. Nothing is ever in stone. So the position that you're in right now will not last forever. And it is a state or a lesson that needs to be learned so that you can move on to bigger and better things. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. And thank you for joining me on this video. <laughs> and I'll see you on my next video, guys. Bye.